good morning. So I'm Mr. Jovan Navarro. I am your trainer in computer system servicing. I'll be the one who will teach you on how to uh, assemble or uh, connect in using the different equipment in computer system servicing in C2. Okay, so but before that, I will now discuss to you the different protective equipment that we're going to use. We have the laptop, the DVD player, the multimedia speaker, and we have the television. Okay? So I have also the different uh, cables. This is the HDMI, high definition multimedia interface for video in laptop going to the television uh, this is RCA for video it has a color code of yellow which stands for video then we have the RCA white and red and the other one is phone jack for audio that will be connected from DVD to speaker so we will now connect the different equipment. So first, I will connect the uh, DVD. By the way, this is now the, the connector that I, I use. These are the control panels that connect the television to the different devices. Okay, so first, I will connect the HDMI to the I will connect the HDMI going to the television. Then I will also connect the video from DVD to television set. So these are the connection, the yellow to yellow. And I will connect the phone jack to the multimedia speaker. Okay. Then connected directly to the DVD. Okay. Let us now switch on the device. Okay, using the remote control. I switch on the device. So as we as you can see, the TV is now connected to the laptop. So we will now test the DVD player. So by pressing the source remote control and transfer to audio video so as you can see the TV is now connected to the DVD so we will now test the DVD with our CD the main purpose of this is to check whether the volume is very loud or very uh, low okay DVD is not loading, so let us see if it's the volume is in normal level. Okay. Show terminate. We have here our 10 gig termination kit, which is very okay, popular. Okay, the DVD is now. Uh, The DVD is, is now ready. We will now start our lesson this morning. So our topic this morning is about how to perform a cable splicing. So cable splicing is used in connecting your RJ45 and your UTP cable or unshielded custom player. Okay. So what are the different tools and equipment? So we need the UTP, the printing tool, the RJ45, the different uh, wall-mounted uh, RG45 type uh, cable connectors, the wire stripper, of course we need the punch down tool, the Phillips screwdriver. So uh, what are the different steps? Okay, so the first step is install the RG45 receptacle, box into the wall according to the manufacturer direction. So then after that, 
make a uh, uh, hole in the wire slipper to remove approximately two inch of the cable jacket at the end of the cable. So you will you will use the punch down cable in uh, connecting the RG45. Then using the, the UTP cable or unshielded twisted pair, you, you're going to do is you, you will untwist the wire and connect the female RG45 jack and place the wire by into polar coded notch on the jack following the A or B polar code. So as we know there are two different types of polar coding. We have 568A and 568B. Then using the punch down tool, so all seat the wire to the RG45 jack and install the jack into the wall plate and screw the wall plate to the wall plate on the bracket. Okay? What are the things that we need to remember? So first is do not nick any small wire that are part of the cable when using the wire stripper to remove the cable jacket. So make sure na hindi masugatan yung wire because it will cause short circuit on the circuit. Take note, the UTV cable is consist of eight wires. So do not twist the wires any more than necessary. Trim off excess wires from the jack. So kung may excess wire, tanggalin po natin. No. So, those are the things that we need to consider in performing the uh, UTP splicing. But before we proceed to our activities, I have here a video presentation that will show you the procedure on proper splicing of UTP and RG45 cables. Okay, so... So let us watch now the video presentation. Hi, it's me, Papa John the Toolman. Today, we are going to show how to do terminate the CAT 6A shield pin. And we have here our 10 gig termination kit, which is very popular. Uh, 10 gig cable is really just more and more every month selling more terminations for that kind of cable. And inside, it comes with. Okay. So after we finish our activities, after watching the video, you're going now to perform a cable splicing using 568A and 568B for loading. So please proceed to your respective work area and, and observe safety and follow the procedure that you have watched previously in the video and in, our, in my presentation. Thank you very much and good morning.